jump in his suitcase. That's gonna be so fun, Jay. Okay, well, we digress, but welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Jay, how many air miles have you accumulated over the years? Do you know, I, I won't say how many I have, <laughs> just, uh, I, I have a certain, um, I have a certain airline that where I can never be anything but an executive platinum for the rest of my life. But you know, like I've got them all on United, all of them. I think Oof. the only one I don't have over a million is Delta, and that's just because they never went. And then that doesn't mention like Singapore, all the other ones that they, and then plus me as a private pilot, I've got a lot of miles. So I call myself, you know, I've got a lot of mileage on this body. <laughs> <laughs> like you wouldn't want to buy this body. It's got a lot of miles, man. A lot of rough miles. But he's running just tickety boo. <laughs> <that's not laughs> I probably, probably can use a tune up every now and then. <laughs> well, we're thrilled that you are okay. with us. This is amazing. Wood. Okay, this is a lot of story. The 60s and the 70s, every, every single piece of this is different. Right, okay, and you know, like, what is so unique and so special about this is we were able to buy Phil's collection. Now, we bought this um, at least seven, you know, it might even be as much as 10 years ago. Um, Phil, you know, he was getting older. Um, all of this material was collected in the 60s and 70s. It was from his private collection. Um, he loved this stuff. He specialized in petrified wood, and that's what he sold. That's what he, he specialized. He, he knew more about petrified wood. I mean, he, 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 like I said, I always tell people, Phil forgot more about petrified wood than I'll ever know in my lifetime. Crazy. He knew every little thing about it, where all, everything about the different woods, all the, the time um, periods, you know, what, what the uh, mineral uh, contents were. Uh, he just, uh, he was just like a wealth of knowledge. Um, when he got um, up, you know, he got up in his, uh, in age, uh, late 70s, early 80s, and he just couldn't do it anymore. And um, he, you know, we bought from him for years. He really just, he, he really loved certain members of my group, just mm. totally loved I'm not gonna name names. I, I was, I, he liked me, but I wasn't his favorite, let's put it that way. <laughs> but he, but he um, I thank goodness one of the members of our, uh, two of the, the lady members he loved, okay? Uh, he just, uh. well, he just, he just thought they were, you know, that they, they were really into, to petrified wood. Right. And, um, and so he sold us his collection. Now, what you're seeing here, <coughs> excuse me, pardon me. Um, what you're seeing here, is a collection of some of the last of the last of the petrified wood that we have. There is no way to replace these, okay? You've got, I, I know that, I, I'm just telling you right now, from do, working with us, I know that there's sequoia here. I know uh, you've got redwood. Uh, I know you, there's beech there. There's petrified beech wood. Uh, I see a little bit of uh, Devil Gate juniper. There, there, there was literally hundreds of different kinds of petrified wood in his private collection, but those are just a few that I can name that I, that I know that's what it is. But each one of these is going to contain a, 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 an array of collectible petrified woods. It's just really part of history. It's amazing. It's, uh, you know, this dates back, a lot of it car carbon dates back to 30 to 50 million years ago. Same time kind of when amber, a lot of the, yeah. the amber was formed. Yeah. And um, do you know like uh, what I think is really interesting, how petrified wood is formed? Um, uh, when Mount H St. Helens blew up, right? Right, right. And the, you know, have you, when you see Mount St. Helens uh, right after the eruption and when everything was done, all the forest had fallen down, right? And right. it looked like, uh, like, like pickup sticks, you know, All like right. everywhere, just scattered everywhere. And then a lot of that was covered with volcanic ash, right, sealed. So you still saw some of the trees on top, yeah. but the trees that were on below that are covered with volcanic ash, maybe, you know, like five, 10, even maybe 20 feet deep. And what happens over time, if we come back to Mount St. Helens in 30 to 50 million years ago, okay. from now, right. okay, we come back, right. there's a good chance we would be sitting on some really cool petrified <laughs> wood. Because that's how it's formed. Um, it's, you know, so you, you know, basically how petrified wood is formed, or any kind of petrified, it, um, it's covered, it's sealed, so, it, you know, so it's sealed off, no oxygen, Amazing. it can't oxidize and rot. And then over time, pressure, uh, the, the organic material is replaced with, with uh, minerals, and, that's, and then that's what they call petri you know, that's petrified, that's petrification, that's what that is. Guys, last call if you'd like to order it. Since this is selling out, let's go to the phones. Jerry, thank you for being patient with us. Jerry, welcome to the show. You're live on the air. Say hi to Jay. How you doing, hi, Jerry? Hi, Adam and Jay. And Jay, I have to say, first of all, thank you so very, very much. Oh, well, thank you. You not only 
you not only saved me some money <laughs> on the five and fives while I waited, because I loved every one of them, but you always put a smile on my face. Uh, you always make me laugh, and oh, it's a joy. Well, it's thank you. It's a joy to talk to you. Well, that, you, know, you know, I got to tell you, too, you know what? I love working with Adam, too, because, you know, like, well, I like, I, I like working with everybody, but, you know, like, the show hosts and stuff, a lot of us go way, way back. And then Adam and I have a lot in common, you know, because my wife is British. So there's a lot of humor that we can share, right? Because there's a lot of funny things. So, you know, he's married to an American. I'm married to a Brit. So we have a lot of things to share. It's I true. mean, you know, we, we, can, we, have a lot of, uh, we have a lot in common. We so it's a lot of fun off. to work, and, and I'm, I'm glad that we can make you happy. I absolutely love the fact that you made the comment, and you've made it before. You saved the best for last. You certainly did with that Belmont. Uh, is that oh amazing my. or what? But, you know, that's yes. true. And, you know, I learned that from my mentors. It took me a long time to learn that. You always save the absolute cream, the best for the last, because yeah. you, can, you know that that's, that's kind of like the end of it. But literally, out of 30,000 pounds, there was, there was 100 kilos, 220 pounds of that material Crazy. that was that grade, that Jimmy grade like that. Well, I love it, and I have a wonderful specimen. I never could find anybody I would trust enough to cut it. It's a big chunk of Belmont from years ago. Okay, so you have, so you know what was really cool, Jerry? So you know Belmont, right? You know, what the, you know the deal, right, what that is. Right. It is like the premium chrysoprase in the world. Right, right. And we just got in on the, on the deal. They, don't, they haven't mined it for years and years and years. Th this material that I have was at least 15, it, this 15, maybe even 16 years ago is when we, we got in on it. And um, it's, a, it's too long of a story to tell now, but yeah. But it was, it's, a, it's, one of, it's one of the most sought after 